Okay. First and foremost, I want to rise my thoughts to give praises to the universal creator. The one God was known by many names. His Hebrew name is Jehovah. His Arabic name is Allah. In Egypt he was called Thoth. The nations of the earth do not see him alike. Every nation has a name for this great God. He is the cause less cause and the root less root from which all <coughs> which all things have grown. I refer to him as the great God Allah. I give honor to all the true and divine prophets, prophetess, those that we know of, those that we do not know of. I give honor to Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius. And the last prophet in these days and times, his name is Noble Drew Ali. He was born in the state of North Carolina in 1886 amongst the people who were called Cherokee. <clears throat> By the time he was 27 years of age, he had traveled all over, traveled throughout the world. He had been to Egypt, he had been to Morocco, he had been to India. Uh, he was one of the Titanic survivors. <clears throat> He was divinely prepared in due time by his father, Allah, to redeem the so-called Negroes, colored folks, black people, in this day misnomer African American, by bringing them uh, divine principles, a divine creed, bringing them the knowledge, returning to them the knowledge of their nationality, their birthrights. Uh, <coughs> I want to give high honor to my teacher, my father, Grand Sheik Clarence Pray the Hill, and his wife, Grand Sheik is Betty Pray the Hill. And I want to give a special honor to my mother and my father, as well as my wife, Sheik is Minister Yolanda Young Bay. I want to give honor to womanhood, because the Prophet Noble Drali taught us that there's only one way that a man can be produced, and that is through the womb of a woman and there's thousands of ways that he may be destroyed. So for that cause, we must have a high, greater appreciation for womanhood. I give honor to all of you who made time to come out today. Give honor to Dr. She's always been a, like a doctor to me. Mickey Khan, for all of her uplifting acts she's performed in the community, service work, you name it. Helping uplift all of humanity. Give honor to, is it priestess, priest, priestess, priestess? Awu. Awu, ma'am, sister. Okay. Say it once. Priest. <laughs> <laughs> a person's name is the most sweetest sounding thing to their ear. You don't want to mess a person's name or attribute up. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes. Go. <laughs> uh, my name is Sheik Joseph Young Bay. I am Sheik Joseph Young Bay. I'm a local minister of the Moorish Science Temple of America located here in Albany, <coughs> Albany New York. <coughs> One of the aims of the Moorish Science Temple of America is to teach our members the necessary things that they'll become better citizens. That they can come back into the constitutional fold of the United States and receive their rights unmolested as other citizens do. Uh, we are divine, as <coughs> excuse me, divine as well as a national movement. We teach citizenship, nationality. <coughs> we teach spiritual principles. We teach religion. We teach all the things necessary to make a person a whole human being. In this case, Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Prophet Noble Drew Ali came returning the birthrights and true identity of the so-called Negroes, Blacks, and Colors. He, he returned our nationality as being Moorish American. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Uh, in, modern times, in, in, this, in modern times, we're called Moorish. We were called Moors. We, we, we are the same Moors who were in Spain from 711 A.D up into 1492. <coughs> um, descendants of Moroccans and born in America. Some may say, well, why is that so important? Because in America, 
as a matter of fact, amongst the human family, every people has a national origin. But in 1774, at 6 and Chestnut Street, Independence Hall, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we heard the old saying in history, General George Washington at that time, he said, I shall not tell a lie, I chopped down my father's cherry tree. But we know that George Washington was a high-ranking Masonic and one of the founding fathers of this country, so he spoke in allegories, symbolism. That was a story that denoted the nationality and birthrights being taken away from the Moors here in America in 1774. Uh, we were given the names of Negro, Black, Colored, which could never be accepted by any of the families of nations. Uh, even dogs have nationalities. You have a French poodle, you have a American Bulldog, a German Shepherd, and if you don't have paperwork from a kennel society tracing their bloodline and genealogy, they're considered undesirables, they're considered mutts. You maybe get 20 or 30 dollars for them. So the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, being divinely prepared by the great God, he knew that the Negro had no rights that the citizen was bound to respect according to the law, according to Supreme Court decision, uh, Roger B. Taney, uh, the Negro has no rights, Dred Scott decision, and it was written into law uh, where you and I, excuse me, got a lot of thoughts in 10 minutes trying to sort through those thoughts. <laughs> this is the national aspect of it. We teach our people, when I say our people, I mean all of those who were given the name of color, Negro, Black. Black is an adjective that describes a noun, a person, place, a thing. We learned this all the way in early education. So when you denote, when you connect the word black to a human being, this is a European psychology. Uh, all of the families of nations always trace themselves back through land, through a landmass or through bloodline. And this is what I heard the priestess making reference to tracing herself back through a spiritual bloodline. We believe in the one God, his name is Allah. Not in the aspect that the Arabians, not in the aspect of the Eastern uh, Muslims or Muslims would practice it. We don't accept the customs or traditions. Uh, Prophet Noble Ali brought us a remedy. He brought us a remedy, the remedy just as Jesus brought, just as Muhammad brought to his people, just as Buddha brought to his people, just as Confucius and many others. The remedy which is the remedy called truth. Our principles are love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Those are the five highest principles known to man on earth. Uh, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice for all and hatred for none. Our days of worship, Friday is our holy day. Uh, because on a Friday the first man was formed in flesh and on a Friday the first man departed out of flesh and ascend it back to the Father. So for that cause, Friday is our holy day. I'm trying to remember some of the questions that Mrs. Khan presented to us. Uh, we have a Sabbath day, which is our holiday, in, in, the, in honor of the birth of Prophet Noble Drew Ali, which is January the 8th. He was born in 1886. So this will be equivalent to Christians' Christmas. We have our New Year's is January the 15th, Moorish American New Year, seven days after the birth of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Uh, 